Hey guys, so I have uh, a video for you today that has been very highly requested. I'm going to be ranking all of my Chanel eyeshadow palettes, of which I have 25, 25 eyeshadow palettes from Chanel. So uh, what makes this video especially exciting is that this is in collaboration with my very good friend here on YouTube, Allison Chase. We've collabed before. She is uh, like my go-to Chanel person. So when I finally got up the nerve to do this video, I approached Allison and I said, would you want to collab with me on this? I think it could be fun. It ended up being a lot more stressful than I thought, but I said, you know, I thought it could be fun. And she was like, oh my God, that's such a great idea. We have pretty much like the same amount. Uh, and I think of course we have a lot of similar palettes, but I'm also pretty sure that she has some palettes um, in her collection that I don't have vice versa. So it'll be really interesting to see her video and I cannot wait to see it. Editing Michelle here. I totally forgot to mention Kelsey Brianna J. She is the one that started these um, ranking videos and I forgot to to mention it when I was recording. I'm so sorry. So huge thank you to Kelsey Brianna J for starting these ranking videos. Let's go ahead and get started because this is going to be a really long one. These are all of my Chanel palettes. So these are ones that may have been discontinued, long discontinued, limited edition, out of stock. I'm not even sure, but I'll link down below in my description box uh, any information that I have on these palettes. If they are available, I'll link to a retailer so you can get all the information uh, down there. So we're gonna start with my least favorite and go to my number one. So we are gonna start with, this is probably the oldest uh, palette that I have from Chanel. And that may have something to do with the fact that it's my least favorite because I haven't used it in a long time. This is the old Chanel formula, which I am not a fan of. I found them to be very, very powdery and not very pigmented and they didn't actually like stay on my lids for a long time. You know, I would apply them and they would just sort of like, you know, dust away as the day went on and it would look like I had like no eyeshadow on at all by the end of the day. So this one is number 19 Enigma. And I took this opportunity to swatch all of these palettes as well. So you'll get some close-ups of each of the palettes on top of some swatches. So this is just, you know, it's just kind of a bland palette. And I'm not someone that, that doesn't like bland palettes. I just think they come in really, really handy. And I always feel really comfortable grabbing for them. Anyway, with all of that said, I just, I don't like this formula. I don't really like this color story that much. I mean, it's it's very cool toned. And again, this is very, very old. I can't even remember when I purchased this. I want to say I got it like in a duty-free shop when I was going somewhere, maybe in like 2008, 10. I don't know, but it's been that long. So I think I'm actually going to be decluttering this quad also. So that is the Chanel Enigma number 19, my least favorite quad. My next least favorite quad is for much of the same reason, it's the formula. I actually like this color story a lot and they definitely revamped this uh, very, very black and white kind of uh, color story and you'll see that palette <laughs> much further down the list. Um, but I just, again, I just don't like this formula. So this is number 93, Smoky Eyes. And I purchased this the same time I purchased that Enigma palette. Yeah, it's just, it's dusty. It's like micro glittery. And I'm just not a fan of this formula. And these are just really super old. So I think I'm going to be tossing these two palettes out. Next up is a nine pan palette. And you know, I really like the formula. I actually really enjoy a lot of the colors in here, but I just never, ever, ever reach for this palette. And I think it's because of the color combination. There's just a lot going on in here that I, I don't know, I'm not a fan of. Like this red, this green, and this blue together. I just don't like this color combination. But again, the formula is really nice. And in fact, I really like this gold. I like all the shades other than these three shades. Like everything else in here is just gorgeous. This color is actually really, really pretty. But I never ever reach for this palette. And this one is definitely limited edition and I don't think you can get this anymore. But this is the edition number two quintessence palette. And this was the first nine pan palette that I purchased from them. And this was the first nine pan palette purchase from Chanel. I was really just kind of curious about the uh, formula. I knew that I didn't really like this color story that much, but I thought I could kind of get past it and use the other ones in there, but I just don't. I never reach for this one. All so. right, number 22 on my list. I 
I, you know, I, I like this one. I really do like this one. And I will say that from here on out, I really like all of the palettes. I was very, very confident about those three, like least favorite palettes. I'm very confident probably of like my top five palettes, but everything in the middle, starting with this one, everything in the middle is really kind of like, it depends on my mood. It's all kind of jumbled up in there. I'm probably gonna be saying the same things over and over again about these palettes, so I apologize. Um, but anyway, this is number 274, the Code Elegant eyeshadow palette. And I love the color story. I think it's very, very beautiful. And the reason why I'm mentioning this one now is because of the formula. It has the same formula as those older like Smoky Eyes and Enigma palettes that I was talking about. They're just powdery. And while these go on really beautifully, they don't last. They just kind of like wipe away. They're just really, really dusty. So as much as I love like everything else about it, the formula just kind of let me down. So the Victoria Beckham <laughs> Smoky Eye Brick in Silk is pretty much like the same kind of color story and it's, oh, it's just so much better. Or if you want something a little bit bolder, the Tom Ford Suspicion palette is like a really kind of like bolder version of this. I almost wish they would redo this palette in like the newer formula that they've been using, which I just enjoy so much more. So this is number 22 on my list. All right, the next one. I love the formula. This is like one of the newer palettes in my collection. It's just, it's the color story. I just never ever reach for it. I think it's beautiful. I purchased it thinking, oh, you know, if I want to wear like blue eyeshadows, these will be so great. You have like really bright cobalt blue. And then you have one that's like a little bit more of like a peacock blue up there. It's gorgeous. And it really is very, very beautiful. I never reach for it. And I don't know if it's because I just, you know, I don't wear blue eyeshadows very often. I don't know if it's because of the pairings in here or just, I never think of this palette. I didn't even tell you which one this is. This is the 312 Quiet Revolution palette. And again, I like this palette a lot. I really love the formula. I just never ever reach for it. Okay, these next two palettes are kind of interchangeable and I'm a little bit surprised that these are so far down on the list, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, yeah, I, I have to put these here. So these are the new like flower embossed quads. So there was this one, which is 356, the Au Fil de Fleur, Au Fil de Fleur. And then this one, the number 358, the Au Fil de Lure. I like these eyeshadow palettes a lot, but there's something about this formula that is very similar to the older ones. They're a little bit creamier, especially when you feel them. They don't feel quite as gritty and dusty as the older ones, but they kind of have, I don't know, like um, like a powderiness to them. And they are, you know, very, very light in application, which I think was the point to these uh, quads. But because of that, I never ever kind of like reach for them. But they are really, really pretty. And I feel like if I was like much younger, these would appeal to me. You know, like they're almost like, I don't know if it's the flower embossing or something, but they're almost like very like little girl, uh, like eyeshadow palettes, especially this pink purple one. If I had to pick one over the other, I would pick this one. This one just has a much more color story that's like comfortable for me. This one, I just never ever really think to use. Um, and this one, it's just a little bit too soft for my liking and I like, soft eyeshadow, I really like, you know, natural looks or whatever, but there's just, I don't know, there's just something lacking about these. So those are the two flower quads. Okay, this is where my list gets really, really murky. I feel like the next 10 quads I'm gonna talk about, I really, they could all be kind of interchangeable, but I ranked them. So the next one is the Blurry Mauve palette. And I think, you know, I like this palette. I think it's really, really pretty, but I think what threw me off is the name. This is not mauve at all. This is like a warm kind of like reddish brown. We have some grays in here and then we have a nude. I am not exactly sure why they called it that. Um, this came out with three other quads. I have two other ones, which you'll see in just a second. But this one, it's, it's very pretty. And like I said, I like all of these quads going forward, but I just don't really reach for this one that often. I, I feel like the name just kind of throws me off. I never really think about this palette at all. Usually when I'm, you know, kind of choosing makeup, it's like I have an idea of what I want to use and then I'll just go and reach for it. Very rarely am I just kind of going through my collection. And then when I see something, I'm like, oh, this is what I've been looking for, or let's use this today. I usually have kind of an idea of what I'm going for, and this is never something that pops up in my head, unfortunately. So that is the Blurry Mauve palette. All right, next on my list is 
another palette that I enjoy very much. Um, but this is one of the five pan palettes. And I just reviewed this one. This is the warm one. This is very, very pretty. I really enjoy this one. I love this peach in here. I love this kind of like shimmery, like silvery champagne shade. It's a very beautiful, soft look. And I think this one doesn't rank as highly as the other ones is that I just don't find this uh, particular color story to be that unique. And I think when it comes to Chanel quads, they're always a little bit different. They're always kind of unexpected, you know, with just the four shades or the five shades or whatever. I always find that it's like a pairing that I would never have paired myself, or they really commit to like a color story, like the black and white palettes that they have, or the really neutral ones are like really neutral. And I really like that aspect about Chanel. This one is, it, it is very, very beautiful, but I just, it's not very Chanel to me, I guess, is what it is. So that is the warm five pan palette. And then here is the medium five pan palette. Another palette I really, really love. I think this one has just fallen out of favor for me because there are a lot of kind of like basic Chanel eyeshadow palettes, which you'll see uh, in just a minute that I enjoy more than this one, or that I just, I don't know if I enjoy more than this one necessarily, but I just think of them and I reach for them. Uh, a little bit more, but this one is it's just a very lovely neutral toned palette. And unfortunately, because it is so basic, it's probably why I don't really think of it. And it's really, really quite lovely. But I guess much like the warm one, there just really isn't that kind of like special Chanelness to it. All right, next up, this one kind of surprised me that it's here and not a little bit further down on my list, but this is the Elemental Quad. And I had a little bit of trouble with this particular palette. I didn't think that it blended out quite as nicely as uh, most of the other ones that I have, the newer ones, but I do like this color story. I think it is just a great, great everyday kind of palette. I just think in terms of performance, it's a little bit lackluster versus the other ones. So that is the Elemental palette. This palette is fantastic. This is number 304. I'm not gonna attempt the pronunciation, but it's number 304. And this is a great example of a Chanel quad, I think, where I feel like the color pairings are so different and they're so unexpected. I would never ever think to maybe put this peach in there, or maybe is it the kind of coppery brown? It's just so, it's so, so interesting. And I really do love the eye looks that I get from this. The formula in this one is wonderful. I love the performance of this one. This is just one of those palettes that I, you know, I just don't use that often. These aren't colors that I use on a daily basis or even for like special occasion. It's just not really a color story that, you know, I'm like super comfortable with, but I do really, really enjoy this palette. I think it is different and I love the performance of it. Next up we have, I can't pronounce the name of this quad and it doesn't seem to have a number. Anyway, I'll have all of them listed down below in the description box in the order that I talk about them in. There's something about this quad that, I mean, I love it. I love the formula, I love the quality of it. You get some really nice neutral looks if you want, and you can add a little pop with that uh, red shade in the bottom left-hand corner. So I really love the idea of this quad, but there's so many more like basic and neutral palettes from Chanel that I reach for before this one, but I really do enjoy this one. All right, next up we have Blurry Gray. I really love this quad. If you want like a cool tone quad, grab this one because it's it's so, so cool. And this shade down here is so cool because there's just the like slightest inkling of like a reddish kind of shimmer to it. I don't, I don't even know if the camera will pick up the reddish tinge in there, but it's so, so cool. This one I feel like really makes this quad. These are obviously very, very basic, but this one makes it so much fun. If you just wanna add it to any of these shades here, just to kind of like, I don't know, smoke out your look a little bit, it's just really pretty. So that is the blurry gray. And then next up we have the blurry green. And I am just such a fan of green. This one is so beautiful as is this one. And then these two colors, supporting colors, if you will, just, oh, they just pair beautifully. I feel like they just all work really, really beautifully together. And I love that they just threw two greens in there. One's brighter, one's like a little bit more sooty. It's a little bit deeper. Formula in this one is really, really smooth, really pigmented. They just blend out really beautifully. So I love the blurry green. This one is my favorite out of the three blurry quads that I got. All right, we are down to the top 10. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm starting to lose my voice. This is number 342, the Lumiere et Opulence. This one is really stunning. I really like the kind of like soft, kind of like watercolor effect you get, especially with these two shades. And then these two shades will obviously give your eyes a little bit of uh, dimension. This really soft, kind of like desaturated, color story. It's so, so pretty. I really, really love it, but you're going to end up with a very kind of like soft look, despite even these two dark colors in here. The look that I always get with this, and it must be the formula, but it ends up being uh, definitely much softer than some of the other eyeshadow formulas that Chanel uses. And then number nine on my list is this Noir Supreme. This will give you such uh, such a like a beautiful dramatic eye and I feel like you can just use one or two colors from here if you want to do like more of a red or more of like a cool tone kind of like bluish gray oh you can just kind of like smoke out your eyes and then like blend either of these colors in and you just get like a really kind of I don't know like gothy dramatic kind of look I love it. And these are like a real like cream to powder. These feel very, very creamy when you like finger swatch them. And even when you work them onto the lid, they almost have like a cooling feeling. That's how creamy they are. So that's the Noir Supreme. And then this palette, this is the Eclat Enigmatique palette. I completely slaughtered that. But this is another kind of perfect example of like an unexpected kind of uh, color story from Chanel. Not colors that I would normally use, not colors that I would normally kind of pair together, but I love this palette. I feel like I always get like a different eye look, but it's not like, I don't feel like uncomfortable with it. And I love the formula of these shades. They all have that kind of like baked formula, but they have this like high shine kind of like satin finish and they're just gorgeous. I just really, really love this one. And of course it helps that the embossing on the shadows really pretty they look like waves so this one is number eight on my list so number seven on my list is the modern glamour quad and this is number 334 and this is i feel like an updated version of that smoky eyes one this formula is just so much better it's so so beautiful these shades are um, shimmery this one's like a satin this one is a matte and if you just want a gray tone eye look this is such a good option and this palette is brand new it's a whole long story but i had one was using that quite a bit and then lost it and then I had to go out and get another one. So I actually haven't used this one since I purchased it, which I should remedy sometime soon, but I just love this modern glamour palette. It's so cool. Okay, number six on my list is, uh, this is a, probably the most nostalgic palette in my collection. This is the one that came out um, in 2016 fall when Lucia Pica became the kind of creative director behind the uh, makeup line. And this was the quad that kind of like reignited my love for Chanel. I had forgotten about them for so long. Like none of their makeup really appealed to me until that collection. I was like, what is happening here? So this Ken De et Experience is so beautiful to me. And this is probably one of the first palettes that I got that had the red color in there. And I, I believe uh, Lucia Pica is really, really into uh, the color red and it just appealed to me. And this was the first time also that I felt like I experienced this kind of new Chanel matte formula where it wasn't that kind of dusty powdery formula. It's much creamier and the pigmentation is much more intense than those older ones. So I feel like this is one of those palettes that I'm never, ever gonna give up. I just love it so much. All right, we're down to the top five. And this number five palette, you know, I was kind of hesitant because it is relatively new. It's newer to my collection. And I just wasn't sure if I was liking it so much because it is new, but I really do love it. This is the Warm Memories palette. I just think it's so beautiful. I love this like bright, shiny peach that they throw in there. And it just works so well with these like cranberry mauvey tones like these three would have been perfect in like the blurry mauve quad <laughs> i'm never gonna let that one go the formula of this quad is wonderful like these three shades are like that creamy matte and then we've got that shimmer in there i just really love it this is like a very kind of like rich smoky kind of color story without being 
brown or bronze. I feel like we're just so inundated with the idea of like a smoky eye look being either of like a kind of like a black sooty look or a brown bronzy kind of look. And I feel like you can get a smoky look with these shades in here and it has this different like tone to it. So I just, I love this palette. I know it's a bit newer to my collection, but I really enjoy this one. Okay, number four in my collection. This one was, I feel like, I don't know, maybe like a sleeper hit. <laughs> but I remember getting this, I remember reviewing it, and, and I thought, wow, this is just such a soft look. But this is a palette that I think of and that I go to when I want just a really kind of like pretty soft look. And well, let me just show you which one it is. This is the number 314, can't pronounce the name, but it's gonna be down below in the description box. I love this palette the more I use it. I just get the most beautiful soft look between these two shades here, they're both, um, um, like a shimmery satin shade. This is a peach. This is like like a very light champagne-y color. This is a matte kind of bone color. And then we have like a shimmery brown. I love the eye looks that I get from here because this gives me all the dimension that I need. And then I can just fill it in with one of these shades or both of these. And I just get such a pretty soft look. Whenever I want something really, really soft, I think of this palette and I think of some of the Tom Ford like uh, wet dry formula palettes, like the ones that were part of his like uh, Winter Soleil collection or like the Nude Dip or something like that. This one I feel like is very akin to those palettes. I think of them kind of all together. And I think it's the finish of these shadows here. They just really remind me of that Tom Ford wet dry formula. So I love this palette, even though it's very, very soft. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> this is number three on my list. And this is actually the palette that I have on my eyes at the moment. This is the uh, 308 Claire Obscure palette. This palette I mentioned in my video that I posted earlier this week where I talked about like the 12 small eyeshadow palettes I would keep. This one is just like my super basic go-to. It is neutral. It's not really cool leaning. It's not really warm leaning. It's like right down the middle. And I feel like you can do like a smoky look. I put this down close to my lid. I kind of smoked it out with this shade and I ran this one just kind of all over to kind of blend it out. You can do such an easy, quick, wearable, smoky eye look like this one where I don't feel like it's like too overdone of a smoky look. It's just a very like natural but smoky kind of look. And this is like the perfect palette for that. And you guys know, I just really love neutral palettes. I just feel like you can use them for any occasion. They're just so versatile. I just love them. I love neutral palettes. So that is the Claire Obscure number three on my list. Number two on my list, unfortunately, uh, is a limited edition one. I don't think this is available anymore, but this is the Lumiere Naturel. This I feel like is the Claire Obscure palette, but with just a little pop because we have this like shimmery color in here that is so beautiful. And then this one has a little bit of like a satin finish and then these two are mattes. But the tone of this one overall is like a little bit warmer. So it's going to give you, I think, a little bit more of like a sultry kind of like smoky eye look. It's just gonna have like a little bit more pizzazz to it. This color is just absolutely stunning. I use this just like all over the lid with some eyeliner sometimes and it's gorgeous. So that is number two. And number one <laughs> is like the ultimate, ultimate neutral natural palette from Chanel. But this is the nine pan palette. Is this called the indispensable palette? The natural eyeshadow collection. This one, limited edition. I don't think you can get it anymore. But this palette is just great. Well, first of all, it has nine shades <laughs> versus four. So there was that. And then I feel like you have these three shades here. They're like a creamy matte. You can do like a very basic look there. And then this is kind of like an evening side. And then this is like the bright, you know, like accent colors right in the middle. I love the layout of this palette. I love this kind of like creamy pressed powder formula that they have. The shades in here are gorgeous. Whenever I've traveled and brought this one along, I never feel like I'm missing a shade that I need. I'll use this one as like eyeliner if I need to. This shade kind of reminds me of the one in that previous quad that I was talking about. You can use this kind of like all over your lid and it's just, oh, it's so pretty. It's like a liquid metal kind of shade. And then this shade with its like little bit of like peach tinge to it is, oh, it's another just really pretty, pretty color. So this palette is my number one Chanel palette. I love this and I cannot believe it's limited edition and I can't find it anywhere.
And Chanel is definitely one of those companies when something is limited edition, it's limited edition. When it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> Woo, okay, I've been talking for hours. Please do not forget to check out um, Allison's video and her channel, um, especially if you like my content, you are really gonna enjoy her content. She really sticks to uh, luxury makeup and she just started this series. It's like the history of fashion houses that have a beauty line. So like YSL, Givenchy, Chanel. It's such a wonderful video concept. So don't forget to check out her channel and comment down below what your absolute favorite Chanel eyeshadow palette is. I would love to hear from you and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video.